Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sinister Skater here, and Black Ops 3 has fallen into the trend of getting a big update once a month, and the June update has come, and in this video, of course, I'm going to be letting you the important things that you need to know, and as always, the patch notes will be in the description if you want to go check them out yourself, and this update is live on Xbox One and PS4 right now. PC will be getting an update fairly soon. So one of the big things that this update is bringing that we all know of right now if you've been active in Black Ops 3 is that, uh, you know, we had some big black market updates that are going to go into effect tomorrow. We got the weekly and daily contracts added and then the blackjack specialist, which you get from completing contracts, that'll all be implemented into the game tomorrow. I did a video on it last week. I'll link it down below in the description if you want to find out more. But I'll also be posting more videos when I actually get the contracts and unlock blackjack and do everything like that later on this week. There also is a rumor that we will be getting more new weapons and camos, calling cards, variants, all that type of stuff in a black market update tomorrow. So hopefully that's true. We can do another supply drop opening, maybe get some new weapons. Uh, besides that, we had some group beta updates. They're just, you know, adding on to the group beta, making more of a polished feature. They added some changes to, like, separate your groups from the friends so you can tell who's what, and you can just do quick joins like that. Um, I think that, I don't know if this was a feature in the beginning, but I'm pretty sure you can join more than one group right now. You guys can tell me if that's true or not. Um, that'd be nice if they updated that. Um, we also had a big CODcaster update. If you guys are CODcasters, they like, you know, a bunch of UI improvements, 12 custom color variants for teams, so, you know, Know, your MLG streams will be all cool now, but let's get into let's get into the good stuff now. The the juicy stuff that's actually gonna affect a lot of us that play Call of Duty right now. Uh, one of the game mode changes that they had in this update is that they tweaked the search and destroy and demolition bomb sites. They pretty much like tightened the bomb up so it was like no cracks in it, and it kind of prevents head glitching or makes it harder to head glitch and peek around the bomb. So you're not as safe behind the bomb. You're still you're still still covered by the bomb, but you're not as safe as you were before. And they also made the bomb a bit more visible so it pops out at a first glance by doing some tweaks and then adding some uh, more prolific lighting around the bomb site. They also updated Uplink and made improvements to picking up these satellites. So hopefully this means that they finally fix the jitter glitch when you pick up the Uplink ball because that's the one annoying thing of playing Uplink is you pick the ball up and it's like you just took like a gallon of caffeine and you're just jumping up and down around the map. It's really annoying. Gameplay changes, they reduce the range on the Marshall 16s, which is good and bad because those things did seem a bit OP, but I was really hoping if they're adding more stuff tomorrow, I'm going to do a mass opening. I'm really hoping that I could get it so I can do this like Overwatch class setup I have and just to play with the Marshall 16s themselves. So for those of us that are beginning getting them tomorrow, they're going to be having reduced range not being as good, but it helps the game balance out, so I you know that's that. Another big thing. Ooh, this is this is this is this is big. We're gonna have to do some testing with this. Is that they fixed an issue where optics and grip didn't stack. If you guys missed my how to reduce recoil video a while back, um, some optics reduce certain recoil by themselves, and some of these optics stacked with grip, and then some of them didn't. Only one thing worked. Now all the optics with grip, they they all stack and they work together. And they did tweak some of the optics recoil reduction to fit this. The ACOG sight, Varix 3 sight, thermal sight. And yeah, the thermal side got all this recoil reduction reduced, so it doesn't reduce recoil as much as they did before, but they do stack with grip. The BOA3 site was untouched, it still stacks with the grip, it's still going to be the same as before, which this was the go-to optic grip combo for me, it's what I use, so that's cool. Um, but we're going to have to go in and retest how much of these three optics reduce recoil by themselves, and see what the reduction is with their added grip, so I'm hoping to do that sometime within the next week. Got a lot of views planned out for this week, so we'll see about that. Um, another thing, they fixed the hater takedown glitch, where, you know, you shoot rockets at the hater, and the they just didn't hit sometimes. Now they actually hit properly. I actually noticed this last week when I was playing, shooting down a bunch of haters, and my rockets would just disappear on their way up there and never hit. It was really annoying because you couldn't really take the hater down. Now that's fixed. A couple more things, again, a bunch of map fixes to prevent bugs and things that, you you know, prevent glitch spots like they do in every update. Uh, we got custom game leaderboards, which is going to be useful for doing some, like, fun contests between yourself and some friends, or if you're playing competitive game battles matches, I'm pretty sure those will be useful. Uh, you know, just general improvements overall. Like, if you guys didn't know, they added music tracks a while back, things like that. And if you didn't know, the Valor Endowment Calling Cards and the Giant Bonus Zombies Map are available for separate purchase in the store last couple things zombies game mode bunch of glitches fixed uh, one notable thing is that the music 
tracks do work in the zombies lobbies now before they only worked in multiplayer now they work in zombies as well and there were a bunch of zetsubo no shima fixes that map was really buggy bunch of fixes now fix up those glitches hopefully it's a fine map to play but you know those are the the big things there's a bunch of you know little if you want to see every one of the bug fixes and things i'm going to link the patch notes in the description down below so you can go check it out but this update is up on xbox one and ps4 right now pc will be getting an update fairly soon so yeah that's that as always guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed subscribe for future black ops 3 content if you aren't already if you guys are subscribed to the channel you're going to be seeing a bunch of e3 coverage this week so you can look forward to that but like the video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out <laughs>